Oh, hello, my beautiful and my lovely people. How are you all doing today? Yes, I know you're good. I know you're good because if God be for you and I, who can be against us? Nobody. We are coming as strong daily to the glory of the Lord. My old and my new subscribers, you're welcome. God bless you all richly in the name of Jesus. The word I drop in my spirit today is love is not enough, kingdom spouse. Love is not enough in your marriage. Love is not enough when you meet him. A lot of homes are going bizarre today because they're based in just physical love. They're based in just some certain things they see physical. But later, you really know if the love can be able to stand it. No. You need more than that physical love. You need to have the love of God. Love your neighbor as yourself. When you have that love in you first, it's going to control a lot of things. But when you don't have that love in you, when that love fades away, that you are looking, those things that you're looking in your spouse's life, those things that you're looking might fade away. Sometimes you might even lose that love. You don't know what is happening. Maybe you don't just feel that love anymore. So what is going to control that marriage? What is going to control that home? When things come, I want to shake the home. What is going to concern that home? Because you might get into the home. Maybe not the way you see your spouse. You're not seeing your spouse. What is happening? Uh, this is falling. This is going. This is... Uh, maybe the shaving is not like that. No. You have to build it. And when you get married as a, as a first time, build that intimacy. That is not the time to allow talk party build it in mercy hold bond together hold yourself together discuss yourself together read the word of god together grow in christ together just be together grow in christ because when you have the love that you feel that yes oh i don't know why i love him i'm just feeling him in my heart there are sometimes you don't know have that feeling what is it going to hold the marriage? That's why you just see somebody just wake up and just say, I don't want this home anymore. You just go divorce. Because you're supposed to know when you build your marriage upon the solid truck of God, there is nothing that is going to come into that marriage. The time the love we feel, the word of God is always there. When the when when the the the, the flesh the flesh is no longer what your spouse see. What is your spouse say? It will have the authority in the word of God that says I've given, take care of your wife, even as Christ gave himself to the church. So you want to obey his father. That's why you must go for the person that has the fear of God, not just the uh, physical look, not just what you see, what you admire, because of those, because those things will fade away. Somebody that is rooted in Christ, somebody that has the fear of God, somebody that knows what he wants, he's not just going for love, he's not just going for, for natural look, but he's there because he cares for you. He wants both of you to take this journey of life together, and he's there to be the man over you as Christ has been the head of the church and over everything. He wants to be the head of the marriage, he wants to take care of you, he wants to stand for you, he will love you no matter what. So love those physical love is not enough you need more when you just marry when you find somebody when you marry the first time is not just honeymoon is good be doing honeymoon body together and study the word of god together study the word of god together the word of god is powerful don't neglect the word of god don't say no not that somebody neglect that's why you see some people today they can be beautiful they can be dressing and their their husband still on the way it's not about that it's about the word of god the way you co commit your marriage to the hands of god is very very important and be rooted with the love of god be rooted with the love of god because if you if you are rooted with the love of god you will not want to see a sister on the road and just drag the person or somebody is crying for help you just push the person that love you can bring it to your home when those things are fading the way you say no this is the gift that god has given to me i'm going to share with it with the love of god in me you see there is still love there i pray may god bless you all richly in the name of jesus amen